Hey guys, it's your old friend Ben Beck bringing you once again another Next Level Radio Guest Spotlight. This time around in this guest spotlight, Adam and I had the chance to speak with Portia Coleman. Uh, Portia came on to talk about Fox's newly picked up daily entertainment show, Hollywood Today Live. She's one of four hosts on the show, and we definitely want to encourage you to check it out. She came on to speak with us and tell us about what, H what uh, HTL, or Hollywood Today Live, is all about. Guest interviews, spotlights, and again, it's a live show every morning. So you're going to be able to get all the news right then and there as it happens. So be sure to check your local listings to watch HTL every weekday. We also encourage you to follow Portia on Twitter and Instagram at Portia Coleman. We encourage you to follow Hollywood Today Live on Twitter at Official HTL. And of course, we want you to check us out, www.nextlevelradioonline, and follow us on Twitter at NXT Level Radio. Last but not least, give us a like on Facebook, facebook.com slash nextlevelradioonline. And until the next time, enjoy this interview with Portia Coleman. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another guest spotlight here on Next Level Radio. I am Ben Beck, joined by my co-host, Adam Gorey, and tonight we're bringing you an interview with someone who I'm sure, actually I'm pretty confident, knows more about the happenings in Hollywood than we do. Uh, I mean, we keep our fingers on the pulse, but it's her job to be in the know about everything that's going on. You can catch her daily on the brand new Fox show, Hollywood Today Live. Joining us on the Next Level Hotline, please welcome... Portia Coleman. Portia, welcome to the show tonight. Hello. Thank you, guys. How are you? Uh, we're doing good. Giving us good. a call. Next level. I'm so excited to be here. Yes, it's awesome. <laughs> well, we're excited to have you on. You're giving us a call from uh, from L.A., correct? Yes, the heart of, right in Hollywood. I'm actually just, just hanging out on set right now, right in uh, Hollywood and Vine. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure doing some work for that uh, for the show, Hollywood Today Live. Yes, Hollywood Today Live. It's 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 going to be so amazing. You guys definitely got to check it out uh, on Fox. Check your local listings to check times. Or also, you can go to the Fox website. And if it's not in the city near you, then definitely just watch it online. And um, you guys can can catch us. It's, it's a fun ride. It's it's, it's a it's a great show that is uh, definitely needed right now. You know, it's, it's it's a young cast talking about anything entertainment from sports, and we interview like some of the coolest people around. We just had. You know, um, a guy who was on the Game of Thrones, and then we have, I think, um, Kella Lutz. We have a lot of cool guests that are coming up to stop by and just give us, like, really exclusive information. So, yeah, you guys got to watch. That's awesome. Yeah, I mean, I know Adam and I are definitely, I mean, our show is pop culture based, so we try and, and, and stay, uh, as I said, with the pulse of everything that's going on right now, and we try and cover it as best as I can. But like right. I said, it's, it, it's your job, as well as the other three hosts that you, got, that you were with, uh, you know, to, to stay with everything and keep up with it and keep everybody informed absolutely it's our job to like keep our cell phones and if something comes in you know some breaking news we have to at least know what's going on or what's happening so we can you know talk about it live on the show which is which is fun you know it's kind of we don't even know what we're really talking about you know on the show the day of just because of the fact that anything can happen any news can break and that's what we will you know what we'll cover so yeah. it's really exciting it makes it so much fun every day coming to work <laughs> Yeah, um, and and obviously with it with the word live in the title, it is live. It's not anything that is pre. -re well, I'm sure you guys do have pre-recorded segments that you probably show during. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, the stuff that we pre-record, like the, the off-site interviews. So um, I had a chance to interview uh, Linda Perry, who's a, an amazing rock star who has a great VH1 show coming up. So yeah, you have to appreciate those because you know if an artist is only available for an hour at the recording studio, yeah, we have to go where they're at and we put it into the package into the show like the following day. Yeah. But I mean it's it's good yeah. that you it's good that you guys are live because like you said, anything can happen at any time. I mean we I'm sure we wish uh that we were live uh, as more often than we are because of the fact that it, a lot of things become time sensitive and especially in Hollywood yeah. and in pop culture. So, you know, doing a show you know, weekly like we do. Sometimes by the time our show airs, it, it's kind of already been there, done that. So Yeah, so I, I think, you know, keeping your social media fresh, of course, as, as well, or even, you know, um, lucky for us, yes, Hollywood Today Live is giving us the opportunity to talk about stuff that happens the day of or the following day. I remember just, you know, two days ago I was here on set when the news broke that LeBron James was going back to the Cleveland Cavaliers, and I'm such a sports fan, so I was like, where's the camera? <laughs> Where is the thing? I need to go talk about this. I'm sitting here like telling anybody to grab something so I can just break in and, you know, talk about it so we can cover it the next day. So, yeah, it makes it really fun that we have the access to do to do what we do on such a, a big platform. Yeah. Is basketball your favorite sport? 
Oh, man, basketball, hands down, is my favorite spot. I like oh, yeah. football, too, but basketball okay. is at number one. I mean, just to show you, like, I'm serious with it. Like, on, on uh, Twitter and Instagram and Facebook, I'm known as Porsche Center. They gave me the name Porsche Center because I'm like, Porsche and this is Porsche Center. So guys will be like, I have been out all day. What is going on in sports? And next thing you know, my whole timeline is just talking about all the latest happening. So, yeah, people love it, especially the guys. They're like, oh, my gosh, you know sports. <laughs> are, are you saying you uh, – oh, go ahead, Adam. Adam. I was just going to say, are you a Lakers fan then, being uh, from the West Coast? Definitely, yeah. You know, as a a Lakers fan, of course, I'm born and raised a Los Angeles, so the Lakers and Clippers are definitely, you know, dear to my heart. But I'm also, you know, friends with a lot of the athletes that I've either interviewed or just met, you know, randomly in Los Angeles. So I do have teams that I follow and that I definitely support regardless. Like the Oklahoma City Thunder I'm a big fan of because I know, you know, Russell Westbrook. Kevin Durant, uh-huh. and then, you know, I knew James Harden, because these are all, you know, a lot of guys that are from L.A., so, of course, he's with the Rockets, and then Nick Young, you know, is another L.A. boy that, that went to a lot of the schools that we did, so there's other guys that I support just because of, you know, their, what they do, and I don't care what team they play for, I'm still going to root for them if I'm watching a game that is not, you know, the Lakers. That's, yeah. a, that's a true fan just of the game. Yeah. yeah. No, I agree. Um, and I know, like, you you said you became friends, become friends with uh, some of the athletes due to interviews and things like that. And I know that's one thing that Adam and I have learned as well, uh, you know, because some of the interviews that we've done, we've been lucky enough to keep in contact with some of these people afterwards. And right. we've developed a friendly relationship with them, which is awesome to us because we never expected it to happen. Yeah. So. I know, right? It, it kind of surprises you when you meet a lot of these athletes that are they're really down to earth. You know, some of them are, you know, you know, fresh out of college or even fresh out of high school, and they just get drafted, and next year they're thrown into the spotlight. So a lot of the guys that I had met surprisingly are very shy. Like you would think on the basketball court, you know, they're pounding their chest and they're walking around like, yeah, I'm the man, and then you see them out and about at, a, at an event or at a, at a restaurant, and they're like, you know, waving hi. You know, it's just so funny to, to, to see the different personalities that these guys have, off, you know, off the court. Yeah. yeah, definitely. And and you said you're you know you're all over Twitter and Instagram with that stuff. Now your Twitter is at Portia Coleman. Is that your Instagram as yeah, well? Yeah, at Portia Coleman. Yep, that's the same for Instagram. Okay. And then my Facebook is Portia Coleman official. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I so mean, follow me, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll definitely send people, you know, send, send people your way, uh, as well as at official okay. HTL, which is the Twitter uh, Twitter handle for yes, Hollywood Today that's Live. That's the Twitter handle. Yes, and then um, if you can go to the Fox website or even just just go right to um, your local website for whoever provider you have, whether it's Direct or AT and T, just uh, log on to the website and they'll tell you if it is available in your city. Then of course, it's not, you know, logging it online. They'll definitely, you know they'll definitely see that other people would like to show in their city. And we are in big cities, you know, luckily right now we're in Los Angeles and Charlotte and New York. So I, I'm so grateful that we are in big markets. But, of course, you know, there's other cities that, that are dying to see it. So don't feel left out. Just log on to the website and you can watch us after the show every day. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, the, it, it, the show started out strictly online. Is that right? And then yeah, it got the show. Up on um, yeah, Bite Size TV is actually – the, the studio that we actually film at. And uh, Ron Bloom saw the whole idea, you know, to build the, the literally a Good Morning America setting right in the heart of Hollywood. So they, they have a lot of online content and programming that they have here. And Fox saw the show. They really liked it and said, we want to give you guys a six-week run, you know, on our network. So it's really smart that Fox actually picked it up because, you know, it's, it's, it's cheap for them to do just based on how they're doing it. We already have the location. All we needed was the outlet and the platform. And that's what they're giving us. So it's really up to, you know, of course, us, you know, tweeting and talking about it outside of the advertisements. Fox has been doing an amazing job with showing the commercials and, you know, the social media. And so now it's just, you know, up to the people to watch and to, to really, you know, latch onto the show and feel like this is something that they want on their programming on a regular basis. Yeah, and, um, you know, like you said, it's only in, in certain Fox networks. And we're, we're pretty Philadelphia-based. I know I actually do get... Uh, the New York Fox, which I believe this show will air on, but I don't think oh, it's nice. So, yeah, you should be, yeah, my Fox, yeah, yeah, you should definitely have it if you're out there, man. Yeah, so hope, hopefully it does uh, make its way to Philadelphia, um, but yes. like, like you said, we can watch it online afterwards anyway, so. Uh, definitely. Okay. Now, on the show, obviously, like you had mentioned, you're doing a lot of interviews and stuff like that. Is it weird at all being, you know, on the opposite side, getting interviewed rather than doing the interview? Like, is it at, at all odd for you? Yeah, you know what? It's it's kind of funny. I I wouldn't say the word odd. I would actually say it, uh, flattering and fun, just because of the fact that a lot of people that do come on, I'm I'm friends with. 
So, you know, when I'm talking to them, I'm interviewing them, but I'm like, this is my friend. So I'm asking them questions about their career when I know them, you know, personally. So it's not weird. It's, it's actually just entertaining to know that I'm, I'm been blessed to be in a position to where I can sit there and ask them questions about their life and career, but they're coming on my show. You yeah. know, like all four posts, it's, it's our show that we can, you know, say that we're four co-hosts that are sitting there doing what we love and talking to people that we're already fans of. But at the end of the day, it's like they're coming – our set they're coming to our location which does make it different rather than us you know always being out in the field you know interviewing them on a movie set or something like that which we do as well but the whole you know basis of the show is being right in the heart of hollywood where people can come by and walk by see us in the glass and you know they can wave and say hi right while we're live on tv and that's what i think makes it so different now which of the two sides do you prefer do you prefer doing the interviewing or being the interviewee you know what? That's a tough one. You know, I, I think, you know, what's actually more fun is being the, interview, the interviewer because I can ask a question that can make someone get nervous. You know, <laughs> we had a couple guy guests on, you know, I know something, let's say if you read their backstory, you know, maybe something on a blog site that came up or on a Wikipedia that they don't think people necessarily know about. I like fishing to find details that'll make somebody sweat in an interview. And it's so funny to see these guys like turn turn red in the face when they hear you ask a question and they're they're kinda like they're stuck. They're like, Oh my gosh, how do I answer this? And this girl is asking it to me. So I think it's more fun interviewing the people because you get their honest reaction and it's no pressure on me. You know, I'm not I, I don't have to all I do is sit there and ask the question and it's your job to, you know, take it away and give me a good answer. <laughs> What's the first post thing on T V? Yeah, I, I I actually will agree with that. I mean, not that I've been interviewed very often, but yeah, it is but fun. It is fun right? to do the interviews. I mean, and, and you know, Ben and I always say this. We always, you know, when we have a guest on, you know, and you're no different. We always like to make it more conversational than like uptight and you know, real like. Right. Here's the question. Here's That's the answer. That's what I love. Right, because yeah. I think there's three news programs, you know, you know, whether it's ABC News or whether it's CNN. Those those channels are meant to be, of course, informational, but they're also more serious. They have a serious tone, and you're going there for information that is going to be a little different than your, you know, your entertainment news. So, you know, why not have fun and have a guest come on and say, you know, I saw you post a crazy Instagram post with your your cat walking down the stairs and tripping. <laughs> and you can ask that kind of cool little stuff, and, and it's what people want to see and hear outside of when you see someone like on a movie screen or on a TV show. Yeah, it, yeah, makes, it, it makes the interview more better more that way, too, because it, it, it tends to get the guests to open up a little bit more and exactly. and, and just have fun right. with it. It's and, about their element. Yeah. Right. They can talk about all that other stuff anywhere else, whether it's on a set, or, you know, but they don't want to come somewhere and feel like it's a, you know, a stiff interview with someone asking them, you know, these hard questions. Like, they want to talk to them about what they like to do when they're off the set and, you know, what kind of funny jokes their friends they crack, you know, when they see a love scene. It's all, it's all fun and games. Yeah, and then and making an interview more fun for the guest also makes it more fun for anybody who's watching or who's listening to. So Absolutely. It all I mean, out. when you think of ratings, I mean, we're an hour. We have an hour show. So what's going to keep people locked in for an hour is, is, is fun topics, um, interesting segments, good segues. You know, we'll go on the street. We have a girl named Amanda Salas who goes on the street and, and she'll walk by you and say, you know, ask you a question and see what your answer is. And we've had some of the funniest reactions to some of the questions where it's like live TV and it's good to have because it's off the cuff and it's not something that's pre-scripted that we're just, you know, getting fake reactions from. So, yeah, it's going to be a blast. And Hollywood Today Live is, you know, a definitely a different show that's giving – you know, artists the opportunity to show how their personality is outside of whatever they do. Yeah, definitely. And and today was the Fox premiere, right? So I mean, like yes, I said, it's here, so big. here in so Philly, we, we don't get it, but we can at least watch it online. You know, with yeah, later I was going to call what? you guys because yeah, you know, <laughs> I, we had the tape, and of course we have interviews, and you know, we actually had Fox LA that came you know, just the other day to get us, you know, covered. So it's been really amazing. Like you said, every morning I'm waking up, you know, feeling like this is such a great opportunity. And, you know, it's, it's, it's out of our hands. I'll try to do a great job, of course, and to give you guys what you guys want to see. And then, you know, you guys tuning in is going to keep us going, you know, longer than the six-week run. Yeah, and, and for anyone, you know, who ha who didn't catch it today, uh, what, what, was, uh, what was on the menu for today's show? Yeah, you know, menu today, of course, is Man Crush Monday. So, you know, we're doing everything that you would see on Twitter and, and, and you know, Facebook and Instagram. So, you know, it's so funny because today we all had the same man crushes. And it was Joe Manganiello, which is the funniest thing. Like, uh, he's yeah. you know, one of my people's, you know, hottest guy right now in the magazine. And then we just found out he's dating Sofia Vergara. So, 
just surprisingly, and we don't even know what we're going to all choose before we get up there. You know, they email us separately. So, when we, you know, when you see the answer, we're all sitting there on stage. We're like, do we really all choose the same man crush? And of course, <laughs> you know, Tanner didn't choose Joe, you know, Manzanello. I think uh, he chose another actor, but it was just so funny how we all, you know, had plays off of the same guy. So we definitely covered that. And we also have Ross. We had um, Ross from E! News that came on and had a great, great time with him. Um, you know, I mean, we got great people that are stopping by. We have, like, a bulletin board that shows us who's going to be on, on the shows, and it's just, like, you know, really a, a blessing to be able to talk to some of these people that are going to be up, coming up from Hollywood today live. I mean, and, awesome. and when you have a bulletin board like that that you had mentioned, um, I, I know I used to work for a previous uh, radio program before this one, and we had the same thing. It's got to make you anxious when you see some of the names that are on that board, uh, oh, knowing yeah. that they're coming up. <laughs> you know, absolutely. It, it, it makes it – and everything, of course, you know, for, for being a Hollywood L.A. show, most of the stuff and uh, people that are coming on, it's all based around, you know, whatever they have – Launching like tomorrow, we have an actor Jocko Sims, and he's actually in the number one movie right now, which is Planet of the Eight. And he's also on the last ship on TNT, and he's on Masters of Sex. So everyone that comes on, some people we have in advance, but a lot of the other people, um, you know, if they're going to be in town for a week and their publicist gets a hold of us and they want to stop by, that's what happens. It's like it's really no set super schedule because you know actors might have to go to set early, they may have to go here, or go there, but luckily. You know, with the show being live, there's always people that are willing to come on and, you know, talk about what they have coming up. Right. And and the show, like we had mentioned, has been on, you know, before Fox even picked it up. Who's been your favorite guest so far that you've had, you know, the opportunity to interview? Wow. You know what? We're, we're absolutely just getting started. I, I'd have to say right off that, I mean, today's guest, Ross Elliott, I mean, nothing gets better than, than the very first guest that you had. So, you know, Ross knows how it is to be an interviewer, and, you know, he started on Jay Leno. 13 years ago, and now he's got his own show on E, and so many things are happening for him right now. It's just, it was great to hear his story of how he came from, you know, being the intern on the Jay Leno set, and now he's got his own show. So he has to be probably the favorite just because he's the first on on live television that we're doing, because, again, the show was online well before now. We've talked to a lot of great people, but, you know, knowing that it's on Fox now, that the world can actually see what we're doing is, is a whole different read so maybe in like two weeks i'll call you back and be like now this is my favorite guest but for now it's definitely raw it's raw <laughs> now i mean taking a look at your at your resume uh alone you, you have a, a lot of things that are that are on your resume and and they range yeah. from uh acting singing dancing um I, I know that you know hollywood today live is a daily show so i'm sure it ties you up during the week but do you still get an opportunity to do any of those other things while you're hosting the show or is it pretty much all put oh, on yeah, hold I- while you're uh while you're doing this no, 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 absolutely. Um, the, the good thing about it is that it's not too time-consuming, which I love. You know, we come in two hours early, and we, you know, we have a, a meeting with all the cast and all the producers, so we know what we're going to talk about, kind of go through teleprompter, making sure everything is okay, and we do it live in that hour, and we're pretty much, you know, wrapped and released. So I think it's going to be a great outlet, of course, for me to, you know, get a lot more. And, of course, I even audition already right now, but it gives us a, a good opportunity to be in the spotlight to where, um, you know, other shows are going to be calling and saying, hey, why don't you do a guest spot on this show or do something on that show? Like, I right before this, I actually was on Silicon Valley and a guest starring role on that, and that show just got nominated for a daytime Emmy. Yeah, that, that, was, uh, that was back in April, right? Yeah. Yeah, back in April, I, I was on the, on the, the third episode of Silicon Valley. So, again, that doesn't stop me at all because with, with this kind of show, it's actually great for the, for the brand of the show for me to also – you know, be in the spotlight doing other acting jobs or releasing music because at the end of the day, it's all entertainment. So if my song that says number one on the charts, why would we not cover that? Yeah. You know, if I'm in a, a feature film that's coming out and I'm taping on set for for a week, come to do the show and then they're following me to set, that's good footage and that's just going to bring more fan base to the show. So I think that is why, you know, I, I probably was someone that they thought might have been a good addition to a show like this because of the fact that I did have my own brand, and of course, I'm representing LA. Everyone else is in from from Los Angeles, so I'm representing Hollywood. I went to Hollywood High School. Yeah, yeah, oh, you yeah, might so get some from... insider information at the same time while yeah. you're doing all yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. I'm like right here. I'm like right in the heart <laughs> of it. So it's it's really great. I have a great cast. So it's, it's exciting. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, well, I know we're getting ready to reach the end of our time, but uh, what we like to do when we end our interviews is we like to end our interviews with what's called a rapid fire session. Um, I like it. Okay. And basically, yeah, what that is is that Adam's just going to throw just a couple questions at you. They're very simple questions. Just answer with the first thing that pops into your head, and you'll be good to go. 
cool. Let's do it. All right. All right. <laughs> First one up, what is your favorite hobby? Favorite hobby is reading astrology. Reading astrology? Yes. Okay. I'm an astrologist, which is crazy. Yes, I can <laughs> study. I study what? signs. I can read anybody's astrology. Yep. What's your sign? My sign is Cancer with a Leo rising, so I'm a good mix, baby. Okay. <laughs> I'm an Aries, so I don't know what that means. Oh, that nice. All that fire. Oh, Lord. You're, you're hot. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. Am I, I'm going to be on next week's Man Crush Monday, right? Oh, you you damn right you are. <laughs> All right. <laughs> next one up. Uh, who, who from the entertainment industry, at least, has been uh, one of the biggest influences on you? Biggest influences? Oh, well, that's hard. I was, was going to say not. I mean, my mom used to be in the entertainment industry, actually, so I have to say my mother. She was okay. a singer, she was an entertainer, and she actually was famous overseas, her and my family. So I have to say her because she's been the closest to me since, you know, day one. Her and my brother have helped everything make it make it go. So those two are my influences, my mom and my brother. Okay, awesome. This this one's uh, a little bit of personal preference. What would be your favorite mode of transportation? Ooh, favorite mode of transportation. I like to fly, baby. I'm not like a road trip girl. Like, okay. people like let's go on a road trip for like seven hours. Like, oh my, uh, uh-uh, that's too much sitting on my ass. Let me get in a plane and go to Vegas in 45 minutes rather than driving for five hours. I need a yeah, plane. <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the same way. I'd rather fly to Florida in a couple hours than drive down there. Yeah, I, I like to fly. I sit back, and by the time I go to sleep, I wake up, and I'm there. Yes. Well, I mean, you, you live in L.A., too. So, I mean, do you do you walk around L.A., or do you actually drive? Well, no, I, I actually drive. But luckily, where we're located right on Hollywood and Vine, it's actually a, a subway station that we have. Okay. And there literally is a subway station that gets off right in front of our studio. So if I wanted to take the train, like, one minute from where I live and get off three exits to get here, I could do that. I'm eight minutes away from where I live. So it's like, it's a perfect opportunity. So, yeah, I definitely drive in L.A. You have to. It's not like New York, you know. In LA, people are always driving, and that's why there's so much traffic. Yeah, I was just—I was just going to say. I guess it's—it's it's a little different from New York, because New York, if you live in New York, you can walk pretty much anywhere. Oh, absolutely. When I go to New York, I get—I mean, it's so much cardio. Like throughout the day, I always take a net extra. I take heels and I take flats. In Los Angeles, you never really see people take heels and flats. Why? Because you drive somewhere, you park at the meter, and you're at your destination. Yeah. In New York, you got to take a subway, you got to take a bus, you got to take a cab, you got to take, <laughs> take everything to get where things. you're at. I would be late everywhere. I'm just telling you. I'm already like one of those girls where I was like, push you to the wire. I would be late to every audition <laughs> if I was in New York and had to take three subways and a, and a cab to get there. And it's so expensive. Oh, Ooh. yeah. It racks <laughs> up. Um, last yeah. one for you, and then we'll let you go. If you could do any other job besides, you know, all the jobs you've already done, acting, singing, hosting, dancing, yeah. uh, what would yeah. you want to do? Okay. I would be a veterinarian. Oh, that's I cool. love... Yes, I love animals. It's so funny. My mom like calls me like a little animal rescuer. Um, I would definitely do something with animals because I love exotic animals. So I would like to go to Africa and you know study you know I mean lions and tigers. I would love to work with big animals. And, and I'm only like five three, so having me work with a big animal, he's probably taller than I am. But it would just be amazing to do that. Do you have any pets? Uh, I don't. I do, but it's so funny. You guys are gonna die laughing. The last pet I did have for a month was an opossum. <laughs> uh, I've never heard that before. I, I, you, and nobody ever will. It's, the, it's, it's just a quick story. The opossum, I walked out of my front door, and it was a baby opossum that was sitting on my step. And oh my. those little eyes, and it was the tiniest little thing ever. And I was like, oh, my goodness, where is his mother? And it was so little, and you could tell it was shivering. So I, I kind of used the broom. I scooped it up in, like, a little box that I had. And I gave it food, I gave it water, and I literally had a pet opossum for like a month. I got it, his or her little weight up, and the next thing you know, I said, okay, now you got to go back to your mommy. And it was so sad. I was like crying when I let it go. But I don't tell many people because like an opossum is kind of like most, a little ugly animal to most people, but he was cute in my mind. Well, if, uh, it, yeah, if it makes you feel any better, I can, yeah. I can share with you, I at one time actually had a pot belly pig for a pet. Really? Oh, yeah. Okay, there we go. So now we're connected. If you had a pig and I had no opossum, we are one and the same. There you go. That's good. I don't feel so bad. <laughs> well, we're definitely going to send people to you know to check out Hollywood Today Live. Uh, it's on Fox in certain markets. All they have to do is just go on and check their local listings to find out what it is. And if it's not, yes. and if it's not um, showing in their local market, uh, once again, what is the way that they could check it online? Uh, yeah, just just log on to Fox dot com. And I'm sure the, uh, the program name will be listed there, and it will tell you which provider you have, and if so, what channel you can find it on. And then also, they will have links there to where you can watch it live on the, on the actual Fox website of the stream of us doing the show. And then if you miss that live during, you know, the Fox feed, then go to bitesizetv.com slash 
Hollywood Today Live, and then you can see it that way. And then, of course, our, our Twitter, official HTO. My Twitter is at Portia Coleman, and I look forward to hearing from you guys. Yeah, you beat yeah. me to it. I was just going to share them for everybody, <laughs> but you beat me to it. And, and next week we're talking to, to AJ, so make sure you put in a good word for us. I will put in a good word for you guys. Thank you. Make sure you guys tweet me, and I'll, I'll repost it so I can yeah, shout you guys out. Yeah, right, cool. We'll definitely tweet you. We'll send everybody to the show. We'll send everybody to your Twitter account as well as the show's Twitter account. Uh, but, Portia, awesome. this has been awesome. Thanks so yeah. much for joining us tonight. I thank you guys so much. It's been a great time, and you guys, Next Little Radio, are doing a big congrats to you guys, and I will definitely be a fan and follow what you guys have going on as well. Awesome. Uh, for everybody listening right now, um, be sure to follow us on Twitter at NXT Level Radio. Check, out us, check us out on Facebook, facebook.com slash Next Level Radio Online. And, of course, check out this interview and as well as all other interviews and showcasts on our website, www.nextlevelradioonline.com. Portia, thank you once again for joining us. Thanks. Bye, guys. All right. Take care, everybody.